Good morning and win forever, people of grace. You are welcome, Mama Ruthie here. I know that God has blessed you. He will always keep on doing the good things. In that book of Matthew, in that book of Acts, the book of Acts, when Apostle Paul and Peter were speaking, the disciples, a means of torturing, a means of everything that uh, Jesus Christ was hated by people. He was crucified while he's alive. A means of everything, Jesus Christ keep on doing the good things. What are the good things? Good things of praying, healing, and delivering the children of God. So Jesus Christ will never forsake you. A means of persecution coming from enemy, curses, and everything. But our Father, because you belong to him, he will keep on doing good things. When something that is not of God happened to you, don't be quick to say God is not with you. You are busy blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Don't be quick to say God is not alive. God is there. And it's not you speaking. It's the wicked one. When the wicked one is, you are burning him and you can see your heart that you love Father God. He will start to do that. It is his job and all his spirits to torture the children of God, to make them, to divert them from listening to uh, the voice of God and to connect with him. So cheer up, cheer up and continue to trust in your father. Let's welcome him. Holy Spirit, thank you. My father who died for us, we welcome you. I mean you, Jesus Christ, the Messiah that is coming. He was there. The one was here, who is here now. And the one that is to come, we love you. The God creator of heaven and earth. And you say, let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be day and night. We adore you. Holy Spirit, that live in us, that was sent as an advocate. We thank you for praying for us. In that groaning, groaning spirit, you groan. You intercede for us. We don't hear you. But that is what you, your duty. We, every day, we adore you. I bow to your throne of heaven to say thank you. You are worthy to be praised. A midst of darkness and evil doing of Satan, I just want to say thank you. You kept us, you are children alive. They are listening now. You, Father, wake in them. They are listening on my teachings. Bless them, O oh Lord. Perfect in their lives, O oh Lord. Release more anointing, O oh Lord. Make them to be giant on the spirit to overcome darkness. When giant of demons come, let them be more giant to overcome the work of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we start the day, lead us. Give us wisdom during this meeting. Protect us, Holy One of Israel. Make a way where there's no way. Because you are God. You are God of Peter. You are God of James. You are God of Paul and Silas. Yes, you are the God of Papa Moses, Isaac. You are a God. A big God, oh. A big one. That always has a final say. When he said yes, no one can oppose it. When you open the door, no one can close it. You are God. You are God. You are God. We thank you, Abba Father. Father, open our heart. Give them a hearing heart, a hearing heart, a hearing heart to understand your word, to read the word. Give them eyes to read the word, to study your word, to meditate, to pray without ceasing. Hence, we are in the perilous time. Things are happening. Thank you, Jesus. When we read the word, let it be engraved in our heart in order to meditate with it. Father, in order to pass through those traps and Father, to overcome the wicked one, evil one, who is coming to kill, steal, and destroy. Thank you, Jesus, and amen. You are welcome. We are proof texting. And Mama Ruthie still loves you. Mama Ruthie. Mama Ruthie loves you, people of grace. And God loves you more. Remember, we practice love. Let love lead. We love people. 
without race, without color, without whatever. We love them all, whether crippled, whether one eye, whether they can speak, mute and dumb. We love them all. Father Jesus, when the disciple asked him in the book of Matthew and Luke, yes, this person was the sin of their mother to be born like this. He says, no, no. My father wants his name to be glorified. He left the things for the God to happen. So a child to be born like that. So that when a disciple of God comes and said, Be healed. Spirit of damp and damp. Be open and leave the child. And the child start to speak. He wants his name to be glorified in every challenge that you are facing in Jesus' mighty name. We are reading, we are protecting the book of Acts 10. Acts 10. Acts is there before Boromen. I think, yes, before Boromen, before Bo Revelation there, before Bo First, Second, John, Peter, whoever they, at the, at the back, and the New Testament, and the New, at the, at the New Testament. We are reading the book of Acts 10. Acts 10. We protect. Acts 10 verse 9. Peter's vision. Acts 10 verse 9. We'll protect. And then after verse 9, we'll go and read to verse 34. Mm. Mm. This scripture that we are reading is about Cornelius. Cornelius, who was a centurion, if you check it from the book of verse 10, if you check from the beginning, when you want the introduction, Cornelius, a God-fearing man, yes. Mm. So it's about Cornelius and Peter's vision. Let's read the book of uh, uh, Acts 10, verse 9. Peter's vision. About noon the following day as they were on their journey and approaching the city, Peter went up on the roof to pray. That is the up, uh, up room. He became hungry and wanted something to eat. And while the meal was being pre prepared, he fell into a trance. A trance is meaning that is a day vision. Day vision. Sometimes I can sit and then I see stuff while looking. So that is what we call a trance. And then Peter saw a heaven open and something like a large sheet spread down on earth uh, by its four corners. Remember, Peter is angry. It contained all kinds of four-footed animals as well as reptiles and birds. Then a voice told him, get up, Peter, kill it and eat. Verse 14, surely not Lord, that is Peter refusing. I have never eaten anything impure or unclean. Do not call, that is God's voice. Do not call anything impure that the God has made clean. Do you hear now? God is telling Peter that I instructed you. I, because you are hungry, I say eat. You say you will never eat because you can see all the kind of animals and reptiles because they are impure. And then God says, don't say that because I've made them pure. They are no longer defiled. I've made them pure. Now, are you reading uh, the, uh, Acts 10 from verse 9, uh, verse 9 to verse 15? We are protecting. Remember, Peter, ne? <laughs> a people of God, I'm laughing a little bit because God, God is wise. He's so wise. That's why he's a prophet. That's why he see future. That's why he created all, all heaven and earth. Mm. Why Peter was having this vision when God was showing him this? Because Cornelius, once I said, it's nice 
hence you will read. I will tell you how you will read so that you can understand everything and you enjoy. You will enjoy this script of Acts 10. Why Peter was having this dream? The God-fearing man at Caesarea, mean Cornelius, named Cornelius, God says he must invite Peter to his house. So God was showing this vision. Prior Cornelius, prior Cornelius, uh, 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 the, 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 the man that was sent, prior the man was sent by Cornelius to go and, and summon Peter to his house. So God wanted, was communicating, started to communicate after uh, showing a vision to Cornelius that Cornelius invite Peter to come. Mm. Invite Peter to come to your house. So, uh, 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 so uh, 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 Father Abraham, uh, Cornelius has sent his, he has to send his men to Joppa, where Peter was, Simon Peter was. Remember, Peter was the right hand of, of Jesus. He needed to be summoned because God instructed Cornelius that summon, summon Peter, summon him to a house. Once God did that, he wanted to do something to who? Uh, to Cornelius through who? Through Peter. So he said, you will summon who are sleeping. Send your people to Joppa to call and summon Peter, uh, summon Peter to come to your house. So by then, Peter, now God is doing what, people of God? To the script that we are reading. He's preparing Peter before he go to where? To Joppa. To where? To Cornelius' house. We proof text. Then we'll go to verse 34. No. We'll not go to 34. We'll go to... Mm, I'm checking because we have to prove text. Uh, remember, we start, uh, it's Act 10. We started to read from verse 9, Peter's version, until verse 16. Yes. So, verse 34, we are proof texting. You must listen to now, and I'll preach again to you so that you can understand what Father God was trying to say. What, what is the vision? What is God trying to say? What is he speaking? What is talking about? Now, uh, we have proof, proof text. Acts 10, verse 9 to 15. Now we are going to... Now, we, 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 I don't want to read there. It will take long. Now, after that, after he, he saw the vision and God asked him to say that uh, 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 he must eat and then he says he cannot eat anything that is impure. Then Simon Peter went down, downstairs, because remember he was in the upper room. Why he went downstairs? He must go and do what? And eat. He wanted to eat because he was hungry. He was hungry. And then the Holy Spirit now, when he wanted to go down, now Holy Spirit spoke again to say, Peter, a man is coming to fetch you to the house of Cornelius. You have to go with them. Cornelius, they call him the centurion. He said, you must, he's a God-fearing man. I've sent them, you must accompany them. You must go with them. That's why I say it's very interesting if you start you read verse 10. Verse 10 as it is. Verse 10 is not a long verse. It's very short. Like X10, not verse 10. X10 as it is, the whole X10. X10. X10 is very interesting. As a whole to, in, to understand how God operates. Now I wanted to, I, I, I prove text where there's a wisdom that we have to understand that God was speaking about why he showed Peter this kind of a dream. He was preparing Peter uh, what will happen in Cornelius' house. He, when Peter says, I will never eat it because all that defied, he says, no, because it's coming from heaven, I have made them pure. They are no longer defiled. So, 
If we protect and go to verse 34, we leave uh, the continuation from verse 15, from verse 16, because we proof, we have proof text from uh, uh, verse 9, uh, X, X10, from verse 9 to 15. So we leave everywhere we go to, we skip and proof text and we we'll go uh, to verse 34 when Peter said, he began to speak and said, now remember, Peter now is in where? In Cornelius' house. Who is Cornelius? Who is Cornelius? Cornelius is a Caesarean. He is, he, was, he is a Gentile. Now when I talk like that, remember people of grace, what are Gentiles? The one that oppose Christ, the one that cannot mix with the Jewish. Peter, remember Father God and all the people Peter were all Jewish. Jewish. Mm. They were Jews. Jews. So now they, they cannot mix with them. They don't, they don't trust in God. They, they, they have their own way of trusting in God. They are unique. <laughs> so people of grace. That's why I wanted to, to, to tell you the wisdom of God. Father God didn't want to tell Peter that you are going. He just said Cornelius is a God-fearing man and he, 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 he and all the family, and he is a Caesarean. He never talked more. Meaning, people of grace, let's read now and pause it there before we continue. We are protecting, we'll go only to verse 34. Yeah, we'll read, we'll read, we'll read. Uh, we have protectsmos uh, 9. Uh, uh, don't remember, that's why I repeat always. I don't want you to, to, to forget the script. Acts 10. Verse 9 to 15, we have proof text. We live everywhere. We are going to. Now, why we proof text all over there? Remember, um, all the verses from 16 to 20, 21, both 30. It's where now, Peter, because already Father God says he cannot say no. It's where now he went to, uh, uh, to, 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 to Caesarea. To Cornelius because he has been summoned and Father God has already told him that I have sent you, I want you there I have sent him, I have told him to, to, to summon you to go there so do not dispute, go there so now, Peter now is in Cornelius' house when he reached there Cornelius now is telling who? Peter that Father God has told him to summon him to his house Peter didn't know that Cornelius is a Gentile. And now listen. Verse 34. We have protect, protect everything. Then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that God does not show favorism. That is verse 4, 34. You know why he said that? Let's continue. Let's continue. Verse 35. But he accepts from every nation the one who fears him and does not and does do what is right. Let me read it again. Verse 34. Then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true is that God does not show favorism, but accepts from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. Do you hear that, people of grace? God does not show favorism. Peter now realized because Peter knew after that ah, the man that I, they sent him Father God sent me to him. Ah, it's a Gentile. And guess what? The Gentile as Cornelius was baptized. A normal baptism that we receive to say that we are children of God. To accept Jesus when I put it. If you go back to Mama Ruth's teaching, the old teachings, I said when we accept Jesus Christ and we are baptized, we receive the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit we receive, it mustn't end there. For the God as time goes, 
we have to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, of the fire. So Cornelius was summoned to the house. A G a Peter was summoned to the house of Cornelius. He moved from Joppa to go to Cornelius at Caesarea to do what? To put, to lay hands on, upon Cornelius to receive the baptism of the fire of the Holy Ghost. So that what will happen to Cornelius? He can heal and deliver people. People who do deliverance, like Mama Ruth and the others, you have to get a baptism of the Holy Spirit. Not to pray for people. You can pray for people. Everyone can pray for people. But to deliver. Spirit of deliverance, it's a talent. It's a gift, sorry. It's a gift from God. God can give me a spirit of preaching. And people get healed through my preaching. God can give me a spirit of praying with you not to pray for people and you can get still healed. But there's a spirit of deliverance that I must pray for people and they get deliverance and they get testimonies like you see in the page. If you click on the community in this page, when you go to YouTube, don't end up by watching videos. Scroll there where they written videos and scroll it back to the left. Swipe it to the left and check where this is written community. A lot of people don't know. All the testimonies of this page lie on the community. You scroll to the left. Scroll to the left. And people, let's learn to like the testimony of people. The more you rejoice with them, the more you get your own. But we listen to the video and close it. Let's learn, people of God. Swipe on the left. Rejoice with others. When I post a, a breakthrough, a testimony for a child of God, let's learn to hit the like. We don't ask you to comment. Like. Swipe and check Mama Ruth's community. And in my page, there's community posting. Where it's written playlist, whatever community. Go to community and click there and check the testimony of people. It emanates from the spirit of deliverance. A gift of deliverance, sorry, not the spirit. A gift of deliverance. Let's like a people of grace. God will bless you in Jesus' mighty name. When you want to read deep and deep, read Acts 10. It's not even long, people of God. You will enjoy the story of Cornelius and Peter. It's very interesting. So what is the, we learn here, the lesson? The lesson before we wrap up and pray. God don't want us to say, I don't pray for a religious person. That is why I say, Peter, Peter, do not say you will not never eat. The dream, the vision Peter saw, it was uh, giving a, a, that's why Peter realized very late. <laughs> it was, even me, I can realize very late because Peter was thinking that uh, because I'm hungry, it's about food. No, it's not all dreams and visions are ah, talking the straight things always mostly is a, a opposite thing when you saw that i saw something bewitching me mm -mm. that is why usually i'll tell you that if they use the person is not here mm. other dreams are straight other dreams are not it's like they're telling you something mm. So here, yeah, the dream about Peter's vision, Father God wanted to show Peter that he cannot stay and judge and say, I don't eat, this one is defiled, this animal, because God has purified them. Meaning God has already purified a Gentile who is Cornelius. He was preparing him to the a Gentile house. That's how Papa operate, Papa Jesus. So he wants us to learn in that book, uh, that proof text of 34, where Peter realized that, yo, God loves every person. A person can, can be staying in a place or a nation where they please God only. They don't want to hear the name Jesus. 
But there will be one person there, Mama Ruti, who will love God. So, Father God, because he stays there, she stays there. He loves the person. As long as a God-fearing man, the person will overcome. So we cannot judge in all, every nation. I will never pray for a ZCC person. I will never, I'm giving example, not to say the ZCC died. No, I'm giving example. We'll never pray uh, for Ruth's church. She's not like us. We'll never pray for T.P. Joshua's church, the occult. No, for the God rebuke us, yeah. We cannot judge. He loves only the heart. He used the heart. May God bless you as we pray. Please don't proof text. Read the book of Acts 10 today and before you sleep. You will enjoy it. God bless you as you read. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch wherever you, touch, you want to touch. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit to send. Spirit of my Father, come down. Jesus Christ, you are the Lord. Touch every child of God. Now, child of God. Any connection and link from the contrary spirit. Contrary spirit. I'm speaking with you. Contrary spirit in the body of a child of God. Familiar spirit. Generational curses. Monitoring spirits. Spirits operating in the evil forest. Operating under the mountain. In the deep seas, marine, spirit of lust, spirit of doubt, spirit of fear. Wherever you are operating, connected to these children of God. You spirit of challenges, you, you enjoy giving them challenges. You spirit of doubt, you celebrate when they are doubting in everything. Spirit of negativity, I have called you all by names. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Listen to the voice of my Father. Jesus Christ is still on the throne with his Father. He never moved. Now, the power of my Father Jesus Christ, the power of God, I'm not alone. And the power of the Holy Spirit, I break all your challenge, your, your link. I break all your bondages, come out. I break all your bondages, leave them. I break all your bondages, come out from their bodies. I command you, go. I break all your chains, go, leave them. The chains of inside and out, go. I disconnect all your yokes, go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, go. All goes, move. All goes, move. All goes, break. All goes, disarm all these powers. Contrary spirit, go. Spirit of lack. Blockages. Spirit of doubt, go. Your spirit of lust, you are Satan, you are demons. Ancestral, go. Leave the people of God. Spirit of giving them challenges and, and doubts. Celebrating when they are having problems. The spirit that now has been formed to destroy you spiritual and physically. To make you tired, to make you exhausted. To make you like and not have energy and strength. Go. I disarm you by the hand of Jesus. By the hand of my God. The power of the Holy Ghost. Come out. Holy Ghost. Fire destroy. Come out. Search and burn in the body flu system. Come out. Holy Ghost. Fire. Go. Holy Ghost. Search and burn. Come out. Holy Ghost. Fire. Destroy my father. Perfect them. Restoration. In your children, Lord. Restoration. Holy Ghost, fire, darkness. You are all spirit coming from the satanic kingdom. Leave the children of God. Burning fire, thunder of God. Electrify every beast and darkness and demons that are connected to them. Through the altars of darkness, go, leave them. Purge out whatever they feed to them. Purge out in the stomach, body flu system. Purge out and disconnect. In Jesus' mighty name, go. Release the children of God. The light of God move. The hand of God perfect. The light of God perfect them. In the mighty name of Jesus. The hand of God perfect them. The light of God. Brighten where they are. Their workplace, their houses, their cars. Go, Satan. This one belongs to Jesus. Go, agent of Satan. The one that is waking every day. You agent of Satan. 
that will frustrate them and their children. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Jesus Christ has a final say. My God has a final say. Holy Spirit is praying for them. Now, catch, they carry all your load. I throw it back where they come from. Back to you, satanic agent. Get out. Leave the children of God. Be paralyzed. Every power, every power of yours of darkness, Satan of agent. Be paralyzed. Those pots where you do curses. Let them roast to you and leave the children of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My father, I declare the light. I declare the blood of Jesus to flow upon them. The light of God to perfect them. The light of God to restore them. Wherever they go, whatever they touch. In Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed. And shalom. Do not forget. This week, we are fasting 6 to 6. But next week is the end of the month. On Wednesday, we do half day. Dry fasting. 6 to Three o'clock. <laughs> Six to where? Three o'clock. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not talking to each and every one. Those who are strong, we will do it. We will not start this month. I have to first start and pray and ask children of God. I cannot say uh, when I do six to three. Uh, without eating, without drinking, you will also manage no. So children of God, it's the same as 6 to 12 o'clock, dry fasting 6 to 12. You prepare from now. For Wednesday, you pray from now until next week. For now, the uh, when you pray, you pray for tomorrow, for, sorry, for Wednesday prayer, fasting, and then you pray again for next week, Wednesday prayer and fasting. You ask God to prepare you. Once you pray prayer every day in your prayers, He will strengthen you. Do not miss it. God will bless you because you honor Him. He who honor a prophet of God receive a reward. May God bless you. God bless you. I pray and I'll continue to pray for you and our families. I love you with the love of God and God love you more. Mother Ruth, Mama Ruth, I love you. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow. In Jesus' mighty name, Shalom. Emmanuel, continue to win.